Hello everybody and welcome back to Jenny's, aka Crazy Country Couponer, where her and her crazy friends hang out to save the most money. And you want to do that too. So if you're not one of our crazy friends yet, look below and hit the subscription button and the notification bell and make sure it says all. And then come on in. Yeah, everybody come on in. We got to talk about some last minute deals, some one and done deals, and then we're going to play a game that we talked about and we're i think we're going to try to play this game either every friday or every saturday to see how it rolls for a little bit it's just random saving money and uh you might want to do it you might not and what am i talking about well let's talk about the game first what i'm talking about is we've got <laughs> <coughs> There's always so many different deals, and we never get to do all the deals, okay? The better deals that we want to do, um, we never get to do all the deals. At least I don't. And a lot of times, it's because I overlook them, or I'm doing other deals that I really need right now, or want. But it doesn't mean I don't have 10 extra dollars that I can save me some money for the next time. Okay. But I didn't have time to sit around and make up another scenario. So, I decided one day to check it out and thought, well, wouldn't it be cool if you just opened your app up randomly and picked the first items in your wallet? Okay, got to already be in your wallet. The first items that amount to $25 for a scenario. You can't go over 26. Okay, so your first five items that totals $26. And that's what you're going to purchase. So we're going to see how much money we save. And that's randomly, don't set any preferences in your wallet or filters. It's randomly coming up. Now, if you want to do the expire sort where you're using just coupons that are about to expire today you could do that too that would be a little uh notch up in your game so this is what i came up with today i opened my app up and bam this was what came up so this is going to be your extra scenario guys we're going to call them the game deals okay not gain but game deals <laughs> So, your game deal <laughs> for today is the Swiffer Duster. For $5.50, you got a $3 off. You're going to pick up a Big Soleil Pink for $4.35. You got a $3 earn. You're going to pick up a Save, or excuse me, a Swiffer Wet for $5.50 because the $2 is attaching to the $5.50 as well. And. You're going to pick that up. And it doesn't have to be gain sent because we're not doing a gain deal. So if you need the ones for the wood floors or want it for free scent or a pet one, yeah, do what you want with that. Then we're going to do the Big Wet. Those are $7.50. But now we're at $22.35. Okay, now in our game, we can't go over. Okay. In our game, we can't go over. And, uh, not more than, uh, okay, let's make it 27. Because let me tell you, it's really hard sometimes to get within $2 of the $25 mark. So we're going to go 27. Oh, yes, and that leaves you room for any instant savings. So, Let's change it to 27, can't go over 27. That way, if you've got a $3 instant savings thrown in there somewhere because you got a Scott coupon or you got something like that, then that works with that too. So, we can't go over 27. So, our next item, but our next item is the buy one, get one. Now, using that coupon would put us way over because that's an extra $14. So, we can't use that one. The Pillsbury, you got to purchase two which is at least six dollars that's going to put us over as well the downy's going to put us over 
that she was going to put us over. But look at there. We've got the Suavitel, that $1.95 Suavitel box. So you're going to pick that up, and this dollar's going to come off. Okay. Now, next one. Well, the urn on the bounty will surely put us over. <laughs> if you've not used that yet, go use it just by itself, guys. That's $4.00 back on a $10.50 purchase of paper towels. And of course, the, this one won't work. The Chips Ahoy would put us... Is it earn a dollar? On the Chips Ahoy. Chips Ahoy would put us over. The Olay would put us over. Now the Franks... Red hot sauce that works. It is two dollars and twenty five cents, and you got a dollar fifty off. So there's your next product, and that brings us to twenty six fifty five. Okay, now let's look at what everything that's coming off of those products. Uh, you got three off the Swiffer. You got to earn three on the Soleil. You've got a two off another Swiffer. An earn of four dollars on the Big Wet. You got a dollar off the Swab a Tail. A dollar fifty off the Frank hot sauce, and then you got your five off 25. Now, all together, you're going to end up bottom line 705 out of pocket for six items. I think that is one, two, three. Yep, six items. That's a winner, winner. Perfect timing with the chime in. That's a winner, winner kind of deal, guys. Right there, six items, seven dollars and five cents, and some, uh, and these are items that you're going to. That you're going to use, most of us use. Okay? Most of us use these items. So your earns back is going to be $7 in earns is going to come back on this. So your out-of-pocket leaving the store is going to be like $12.50. So there is your game deal for today. <laughs> now yours may, you know, if you do this at home, yours is going to be different because when you open yours up, it's going to come up differently. So... You can use mine or use yours. All right, next up, let's talk about these one-and-done deals. What is one-and-done deals? One-and-done deals are deals that are uh, one to three items, usually big-ticket items, and it takes up the entire scenario, okay? Let's just take, for instance, and sometimes for the same items, okay? In this case, let's talk about the Kingsford Charcoal. You've got two different coupons for the Kingsford Charcoal. One is $3, one is $4. One works on the Kingsford Original Briquettes, 16 pounds. The other works on the Match Light. They're both $14. Pick those up, you'll be at $28. And what's coming off of the $28? This was not on my little list, guys, so we're just doing this off the, for an example. So... Up at $28, we're going to be getting $12 off. 16 dollars out of pocket, guys. $16 out of pocket, and one of these is 14 bucks. So there you go. Two items done with the deal. And you can use your paper five off 25s on these deals right here. These one and dones. I would definitely suggest using the paper 5 off 25s. Alright, next we have... Now let's talk about the Bounty. This expires today. If you've not done the Bounty and Charmin thing, you need to do it today. It expires, and it is a great savings. And it's a one and done. So you can either get the $21 Bounty, and you're going to earn back $4. Okay? And with that, you're going to get a thing of Puffs or a $5 thing of Charmin. Okay. Now, uh, the Puffs is a quarter off. Mm, no big deal. Charmin, I think you have a dollar off on the Charmin. Uh, there's no earn on the Charmin, but there is a dollar off. <clears throat> so, you will be paying approximately... $21 out of pocket for your bounty deal. But you're going to be getting back $4. So you'll be paying like 19 
at seventeen dollars, pretty much around seventeen dollars. I don't know. Let's bring it up here. Okay, look, we got a nineteen dollar Charmin. You could almost do a one and done with that. But I think we're going to go for, there we go. I think we'll go for the $21 bounty. And the $5.75 Charmin. And I want to see, yep, okay. And, of course, if, if you have the spend three, you're going to get the $3 off your next purchase because you're going to be spending $10 on this. But you got a $0.50 cent on that. Uh, so, coming off of that is going to be $10.50 off a $26 purchase. $26.50, probably. Um... Again, top of my head, guys, so uh, don't give me comments about, you know, top of my head math. <laughs> so right at sixteen fifty, okay? And that's before your earn. When you get your $4 earn back, you're going to be at uh, $12.50 for a Charmin Essential, $5 and change one, and you're going to get your $21 bounty and get $4 back. But you're also going to get your $3 off your next purchase back as well. So you'll be at like $11 and change for this one and done deal. Now I have somebody ask me about the Friskies. So this is your answer about the Friskies. You can do a one and done uh, with your Friskies. It's seventeen to sixteen dollars. Uh, you're going to get a dollar earned back. Whoop de do! <laughs> but you're just going to pick up one of these, okay? It expires tomorrow or at the end of the day. So you're just going to pick up one of these. But you're going to pick up the ten dollar and sixty cent bounty. Or if you haven't used it yet. Okay. And of course you're going to pay. Uh, $27 out of pocket when you leave. Or 20. Uh, what are we going to pay when we leave the store here? Hold up. You'll be paying $21 when you leave the store. But you're going to be getting $6 back. So technically you're going to be only paying like 14 bucks. Okay. For your paper towels. And your friskies. That's right. Winna winna, guys. It's like buying one thing and getting the other one for free. <laughs> so there's your totals for your friskies. And of course, if you don't have your bounty still, pick up your two razors, okay? That's $7 and earns back right there. And that will cover uh, the $10 difference that you need for this deal. So you could either do the bounty or you could do both razors, okay, and your friskies. Now, if you did the friskies and the two razors, you're out of pocket in the end. Your final out of pocket would be around $11. So, yeah, the razor deal and the friskies is the better deal, depending on which coupons you still have. Our next one and done is the Allegra. Okay. You've got a $4 earn, a $5 off, and another $4 earn. Okay. On the Allegra. Now, I'm not sure if this is going to glitch. But because you do have the $5 off and you have a $4 earn, it doesn't really matter. Okay. Ah. Uh, Because this is how this is going to work. The children's Allegra is ten fifty. The regular Allegra 
is twenty seventy five. You got a five dollar off off of the children's. You uh, Anna Earn. Okay, so clip both. Either the five dollar will come off, or you'll get your earn, or you'll get both. But you also have a four dollar earn on the regular Allegra. Okay, uh, capsules. They're down here somewhere. But that right, the regular Allegra. As you can see, the $5 off will work on the regular Allegra. And then you can do your $4 earn. They both have $4 earns, individual earns. So clip those and clip your five off. One or the other or all will come off. Either way it goes. This is what you'll be saving, okay? A, a children's and regular is thirty-one twenty-five. You're gonna get five dollars off, and then you're five off twenty-five. You're at twenty-one twenty-five. All right. And then you are going to either get four dollars back, which is going to bring you to something like sixteen dollars and seventy-five cent. Or you're going to get eight dollars back, which would bring you to twelve twenty-five. So either way it goes, it's a really good savings if you use these Allegra products. And of course, if you need to pick up two children's, if you don't need Allegra and your children need Allegra, pick up two children's. You'll get the four off, and you'll get your five off, and your five off of twenty-five off. Now, two children's Allegra will only be twenty. One dollars, so you'll have to add something else to it. Maybe one of the big razors, or um, something else to it. Just say it. You'll have to add something to it if you just do the children's. Now we also have the one and dones in the diapers, because most of these diapers run twenty one to twenty six dollars. Okay, um, the little huggies, little movers, because these are the big packs. Uh, there is no price on these, so I'm not sure how much they are, but there's a $6 earn on the Huggies Little Movers and another $3 earn on a smaller pack of the Little Movers. So, even if one is not quite $25, then add both together and you'll be getting back $9 and saving $5. Your others <clears throat> is your Pampers. They're uh, running $27, and you've got two $5 off coupons for those. And you have several urns for your Huggies of various sizes. So make sure you look through them before you be clipping them. All right, guys, that's it. Hopefully you have a great shopping day. Save you tons of money. And uh, <clears throat> it's that time again. I want everybody to review their app savings. If you've been using your app all year long, it kind of gives you an estimated total of how much you saved during the year. Yes, and how much you spent. So I'd like to see those in the comments, guys. I want to know how much money you saved this year. And if you don't, you should be saving your receipts. Okay? Just saying. You should be saving your receipts. Because some of those things that you may be purchasing actually might be tax deductible, just so you know. Make sure you check your local taxes, depending on your job. If you clean houses, then you already know those paper towels, all those cleaning products. Keep those receipts because they can be deducted. All right. Um, if you are a truck driver and you buy anything to clean your truck, uh, anything like that, yes, keep them. And, um, mm, any kind of stationary products, anything like that to keep records, keep those receipts. So... Reasons to keep those receipts other than trying to figure out how much money we saved this year at Dollar General. But, I mean, it's a good rule of thumb just to know. And that way, when somebody tells you, well, I just don't have time to do that or it's not worth it. 
<laughs> well, you'll know, won't you? So blessings, and we'll talk again later. I look forward to hearing from you.